in this video i'm gonna be reacting to what happened to all the mr beast giveaways and this is something i've thought about for a minute like where did they all disappear to after they got the money or like the biggest ones so these are the guys that won the most money from mr beast i've always wondered where did they go what happened to them so about to find out right now before we start make sure you like comment subscribe and let's get into this Mr. beast challenges but today we're going to talk about the nine what biggest giveaway them? winners and what where happened to them starting with cam who won one of the greatest the events in youtube history cam was one of the 456 the contestants in the $456,000 squid game hosted by Mr. Beast, which is still to this day the most popular video on the Mr. Beast it's channel. And Cam initially How many views does that have? 456 that he said? Damn. thought that it was already too late to get in jimmy posted a video on tiktok in which he said that if he gets 10 million likes he would recreate squid games in real life and well mr beast being the massive personality he is achieved this with ease and made another tiktok <laughs> in which he would grab random tiktok followers out of the comments to compete now you can already guess that a lot of fans were interested and with over 1 million people replying Damn. it seemed impossible he had 1 million people comment and he picked 456 people here yeah. to get in but not for cam because he left the comment two days after the video already being incredibly late saying hey am i late to which he shockingly got a response a few minutes later from the man mr beast himself wow. jimmy told him to follow him which he did that is crazy a man was late and he said yo is it too late for me to join he deserved it he deserved it, it. and not long after he got selected for squid game and eventually got flown out to the set he cam made it throughout guy. all the games and ultimately won the entire competition taking home four hundred fifty six thousand dollars yeah! i thought i remember this i remember that moment i remember that moment after he won he one. immediately got old friends coming back wait hey i'm not asking you because i'm not asking you just because you won the squid game i'm asking you because we used to be homies when we worked but you think you can learn before Damn! I'm behind on bills and you really helped me out. Just <laughs> came back from work. I need a little help from a homie. Sorry, I should have, I should have started with how you do it. Mate, mine is begging it. To him asking for money, These which he obviously ignored. Are and also it. got fake accounts claiming that they won the money, which even got news articles featuring the wrong person that the sponsor of the entire event, Ball Stars, congratulating the same fraud. However, Cam could laugh about it and even befriended Damn. the guy who impersonated him, all while continuing his content what grind is, on TikTok <laughs> and Instagram. This? Also, he said that he would spend the money on building his future, helping his family and friends, so and he, giving back to the community. So However, start, Cam wasn't the only person who won half a million dollars dollars from jimmy and spent it responsibly because back in september of last year sean hendrix got put what into a win? circle for 100 days oh, by mr b giving guy. him the chance to win five hundred thousand dollars he faced terrible weather a marching band all yes. night fireworks the guy in the house yes this guy won it he stayed in the house for like Perks, clowns the this. constant sound of a ringing alarm and missed his family but rejected offers this. of one hundred thousand and two hundred fifty thousand dollars to get out of the circle early which also resulted in his house is getting completely oh, destroyed yeah, however once the mess. timer struck zero a huge celebration followed and sean was reunited with his family to collect a massive five hundred thousand dollar check after it's this right sean hopped on here. social media to talk about his accomplishment finally eating a proper meal after canned food for 100 days and showing off his first purchase which was a new john deere cap after his old one got covered in powder from the celebration he got a there ton of go, positive man. feedback from fans that which inspired him and sean slowly got more involved into the world of you Wait, i'm absolutely glued to my phone the brilliance of what dream is doing right now is the same my kids will always dad you watched dream before he revealed his face yes son and now he's a president of the youtube <laughs> as he visited fit summit and got more passionate about hey you know what yeah i need to be on a mr beast video you know it looks like life can get it looks like life can change that's what i need to do that's the next goal that's the next goal that's the goal in life a mr beast video you get that you basically you basically got that you basically got it all content creation so this is when he decided to also launch his tiktok channel and started posting videos about his life and the aftermath of the mr beast challenge his first TikTok, tiktok showed that his wife bought a new dog while he was in the circle who got the fitting name jimmy then he posted skits about <laughs> the event that would go completely viral shared an incredible holiday confirmed that he still had the penny from ryan trahan and revealed his day-to-day oh, -day life on his farm but the whole experience didn't just make him a mess of mr what? beast fan what? because he also became the full-time director of development for Mr. Beast. You see this guy? You see that guy right here? You see him, Sean? He is a smart individual. He took the money and got a job. <laughs> he got a job working for Mr. Beast. He's one and he makes his own content. He's one. I'm all people. 
Hey, fair play to him. He's won. In the same month he's, that he's, the video got uploaded, Sean seems to now have his dream life and he's announced no, his living, first big living. purchase on TikTok he's a few months ago. Wow, wow. A beautiful house in North Carolina. They still have the farm in Oklahoma, but they're now officially moving to that new house. And Sean has what built again? a very successful career out of his opportunity with Mr. Beast. Yet bro, he hasn't change, been bro. as successful as Bella and Dellen from Della Vlogs. I'm Bella and Dellen were already running a successful I'm YouTube channel for a few years before they got into a Mr. Beast video, as they currently have over 1 million subscribers, but made an extra $500,000 when they won the Willy Wonka chocolate factory built by Mr. Beast. In January of 2022, Jimmy uploaded a video titled World's Most Dangerous Escape Room, in which he announced his new snack company Feastables and the following challenge. 10 random bars are going to have a mystery ticket inside of them, and if you get this mystery ticket, we will fly you out to compete for a chocolate factory in one of our videos. So, as expected, people began buying these in bulk to find the golden ticket, with YouTubers spending crazy amounts of money to get involved. And Della Vlogs had the same idea. Someone spent 10,000. Yeah, send out, send out, send out, send out. Imagine, how are you spending 10,000 on a chocolate bar? And imagine you spent 10,000 and you still didn't get it. That'd be mad. Idea. They spent $1,000 on Feastables, which gave them a lot of entries into the contest. And only 15 days later, Did they received a package from somebody that works for Mr. Beast. <gasps> no freaking way. And net one to the chocolate factory. <laughs> Yes, Dellen was now able to compete for the Chocolate Factory and ultimately won the entire thing by impressing none other than Gordon Ramsay in oh, the yeah, final challenge. Oh yeah, you have to impress Gordon Ramsay. Oh my gosh, it's a 7 out of 10. Congratulations. Yeah, Fair play to the team. Now Jimmy eventually bought the factory back from him for $500,000 since the maintenance alone would cost him $100,000 per year. And Dellen and Bella used this money to instantly do a $5,000 giveaway, tipped yeah. a total of $5,000 to pizza delivery guys, uh -huh. and even bought a farm. They are still uploading- They bought a farm! <laughs> Fez! Fair enough! Wow! Farm! Uh, America last man. America last. You can't fault it. It's America last. I must say they bought a farm. What would I do if I had YouTube? Actually, no, to be honest, that's just one house. I'll be honest. 500k to one house around here in London. So, and to you know, this you day, have donated it's over six million dollars to charity due to Bella being a self-made millionaire at a young age and are currently documenting their infertility journey. Uh, but hey. a chocolate factory wasn't pregnant. nearly as impressive as a private island because Chandler, Tandler. a member of the Mr. Beast team, won a private island that was worth over eight hundred thousand dollars in August of 2020. Yes, the video had winners. ten different challenges, with a vote off at the end, in which it came down to a dramatic vote between Carl and Chandler, with the scores tied at four each one contestant had to draw a name out of the box to finish the competition oh. and that name was chandler chandler hey i know thing was pissed i know car was pissed the know, island that was i know car was pissed Actually known as Golden K Island in the Bahamas, got renamed to Jeff or Jeff Island by Chandler. And not much was heard from it until a month later when Eric uploaded a video titled I Stole Mr. Beast's $800,000 oh, Island. Island. Chandler, Eric's I'm calling cold. you out. Now listen, Chandler, I stalked your Instagram all the way back and found out that you're pretty good at uh, basketball, baseball, and video games. I'm willing to compete with you at any of these three activities or another activity of your choosing to win this island fair and square. All of his fans got told to comment on the latest Mr. Beast video that Chandler had to accept this challenge. And after the internet was taken over by Eric's fanbase for a few days, Chandler came out with a response on Twitter. Guys, update from the island. It was amazing. He sold it. He sold it. Fun with my friends. Oh, that's why he said he sold it. I loved it. I got a free island. Only reason I couldn't <laughs> keep the island guys i couldn't keep it is because taxes. of taxes yeah he had to sell the island yeah so he sold the island straight away i'll be on I, I saw the video already he sold the island quick oh bro you know yeah taxes yeah yeah tax takes the piss and because of taxes, taxes as he explained that the u.s government makes you pay taxes over things you get for free which ended the hype for this challenge quite rapidly chandler is still yeah. part of the mr so, beast team as he featured in their latest antarctica yeah, video and got social platforms that are doing extremely yeah, well his own clothing and man. nft project and even yeah. got married last year so i don't think he's too bothered about his island then again chandler, chandler wasn't the only one that got a career gifted to him by mr beast yeah. zealous is a youtuber with oh, yeah, over 3.7 million yeah, let me see if I remember. Zealous competed in a challenge where if Mr. B said whoever wins gets a YouTube shout out. 
And he was the one that won it. Subscribers that obtained his entire career deal. thanks to a Mr. Beast challenge. On July 22nd in 2020, Mr. Beast tweeted a Google Docs form in which any YouTuber with under 100,000 subscribers could yeah. apply for an upcoming video to get help. And Zealous was one of the many creators that filled in this form. A few uh, days later, he got called by an unknown number, which he declined, but later picked up anyways. And it was none other than Mr. Beast. He, he got invited to be a part of his declined. next challenge video, in which Mr. Beast would give away one million subscribers to a small youtuber and the goal this time was to make sure that you were the last contestant to take your hand off his diamond play button after oh 33 God, no. hours of agony no, zealous be. won and got a shout out from mr beast which would change his no, life forever be. before all of this he would only gain a few thousand subscribers each month but when the I video mean, went hey, live hey, he my, gained hey, almost 1.9 you know? million subscribers in a single month oh, his story yeah, about did. winning the challenge he went did. viral did. with he over did. 10 million that. views and his channel has been doing a incredibly well ever since easily making over 1 million dollars in youtube ad revenue that he reinvests back into his channel Let's but this was go. all done through consistency and working hard with the opportunity he was given which can also Let's be go. said for the next youtuber zach and, uh, king zach is know, one of them is road to show because road to show one jet we all know one of them sim we didn't, we didn't tell, like, be like, oh my god, is that, that The longest YouTube that personality who gained over 15 million that subscribers with his him. magic videos. And he was one of the 10 YouTube giants oh, that competed in the $1 the million hide and, hide and seek that was part of Mr. Beast's YouTube original know, series. Yeah. Zach eventually won it as his other competitor fell asleep and got disqualified. And he said that he was going to spend the money on foster care and that. filmmaking. He ultimately decided to do this in combination with a video where he gave away a Tesla, donated $510,000 to multiple charities, Gave away five hundred and ten thousand to multiple chat. Hey, fair play. Fifty thousand dollars in prices. One hundred fifty thousand. Telling you, bro. If you're on the Mr. Beast video, life is different. If you get to Mr. Beast video, bro, everything changes. The price goes up. The price goes up. Dollars to pay off college debt and thirty-eight thousand eight hundred dollars in Bitcoin, resulting in a total of eight hundred fifty thousand dollars spent. With the remaining one hundred fifty thousand dollars left given away to the winner of his video, lost to survive oh, the I island wins one hundred fifty thousand dollars. However, was he wasn't the only one that walked away with a million dollars from a Mr. Beast challenge. So was NS is a yeah. Danish Fortnite player for Guild Esports that won the Mr. Beast Extreme Survival Challenge in Fortnite oh, and thus I'm added a million dollars to his already impressive $540,000 in competitive earnings. This, this competition was one element of the iconic collaboration between Mr. Beast and uh, Fortnite, it's, it's in which he got his own skin, it's cosmetics, it's, 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 it's and custom map, in which the content... I remember this, I tried, I played the like the little, um, like the little trial one that was up, and I said, I cannot compete with these kids. I said, I cannot compete, bro. Fortnite is a different place right now. I couldn't compete. Like, no cap, I couldn't compete with these guys. Like, them man are cracked. I am not... I don't have it. These I don't have it, these old man hands though, but I got it. Best I got it like place. that. It was a winner takes all. See the controller. Where first controller place would win I one built million for dollars, it. and the rest of the top one hundred thousand players would just get the Golden Beast Brella umbrella, which was in typical Mr. Beast fashion. I a variety this. of games this. got played during the tournament, like Red Light, Green Light, The Floor is Lava, A Maze, Falling Tiles, you, and much have more, like which Ennis dominated, five. and he ultimately clutched a tight win in overtime. Nowadays, Ennis is still competing at the I think Tufu was also cool. Tufu was top five. I was watching Tufu play. Highly competitive lobbies, and he's now sitting on the million dollars for his future. But someone mm. that didn't sit on his money was Man Too Nice. Back oh, in December of 2000, I think he won it, and then Mr. Beast gave him 20, 20, that 24 hours to spend it all of it. 19. Mark got invited to join the final challenge in a four-part yeah, series to, to qualify a for a million dollar competition, and got in with an incredible story. Before this video, Mark was at the lowest point in his life, having no job and his wife taking care of him and his family. But he was a man of God, and was randomly mm. talking to him in the shower one day, when God suddenly said to him that he had to use $20 to buy Mr. Beast merch. He questioned it at what? first, but followed his what belief and Mr. tried to buy some $15 socks on the Mr. B store website which failed. However, Mark noticed something when searching for the help page what and that it? was the entrance to the million dollar giveaway. He eventually didn't buy anything but signed up what? for this contest. And when his wife went to church a few days later, the pastor said that someone in the church was going to get rich. And well, he what? was right because men too nice got an email not much. You know what it is? Sometimes man, sometimes it pays just to do stuff man. It pays to do stuff. Later, it was selected for believe. the chance to win 
1 million dollars from Mr. Beast. Mike had flown out to try and be the last one to stop riding an exercise bike and he actually managed to do it promising another contestant that he would give him fifty thousand dollars if he won as he got inspired by he him fighting for his family as well wait Seriously. if you win the million dollars you want to give him 50 grand yes i want to give him 50 grand Aww. like hey. jimmy said he now had one final task left and that was keeping his hand on one million dollars of cash until the oh, end to win this. it but despite the odds being against him he, he beat he the other it. finalist and became a millionaire in a matter of seconds which allowed him to keep hey his yeah i remember that then he brought it back i, I remember this thousand dollars you're gonna give him more that for you man <laughs> I'll be, I'll, did he give more than now that? after this mark spent, spent all of the money in another mr beast video on some electronics to give away two brand new cars hey. a ring for his wife a house furniture equipment for his youtube channel gave away more money to his family and the rest on taxes and investments since then he also started creating content on his own Let's youtube go. channel and even hung out with mr beast in more videos Let's but that go. was That's before you, his inconsistency as he has stopped oh. uploading for over nine months already oh. and a lack of uploads is what our final as he has stopped uploading damn he actually stopped uploading 10 months ago that is how it happens man i already. did as well and a lack it of happens. uploads is what our final road giveaway sure. winner is also I known know, for. I know harry sure. from the side man yeah. also known as road to hey, listen allow harry man listen harry does other things let's hey, allow him he does other things he literally does side videos. Shaw or Allow W2S it. won Mr. Beast's biggest giveaway ever as he secured a $2.5 million jet by outcompeting other famous creators this like I Show Speed, video. Laser Beam, George Not Found, and many others. Now, yes, the private island he gave away earlier in August of 2022 video. for 100 million subscribers well, listen, could have easily been balls, more expensive. Listen, but the price tag of this island is unknown, and so is the identity so of the winner itself for verification. So, for now, we're crowning Harry as the number one mr beast giveaway winner in the to. video he had to keep his hand on the jet for almost 19 hours straight but eventually beat george not found in the final show off this is a video He's that, he, how he's that and guy. ultimately gave the jet to his brother and his sister as that was part of the challenge also giving an update later in his and video it, time to it. tell the truth he that he was it. going to make a dedicated video about it but this still hasn't happened two months later and it recently came out that he had to take the money as the upkeep of the private jet was too much money, yeah, Roti yeah, yeah. Shaw still hasn't uploaded on his main channel in almost three years Hello, but made man. somewhat of a comeback on his second channel last yeah. month and only creates content consistently the for the sidemen yep, nowadays yep, yep. That is true. He does make videos. Harry is a GOAT. You gotta allow him. He doesn't upload his main channel. Let's be real. Why? All he does is make FIFA videos anyway, man. Like, why, why, why should he? Why should he? All he does is make video. All he does is play thing as well. Don't worry about that. I'm reading One Piece and My Hero. That was the last time he posted. Damn. Two, three years ago. But look, he used to get views. But obviously, just like, you know, FIFA's dead. So, nothing to do over there. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll catch you guys in a bit. Like, comment, and subscribe. I'm back consistently. It's all. I'll catch you in the next one. I already know what the next reaction video is going to be. How does Simon build a 100, 100 million pound empire? So, yeah, I'll catch you guys then. Take care. Peace.